Hello again and welcome to Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bull. We're broadcasting from the beautiful Marion H. Rochelle Gateway Center. The Cowboys went to Pullman, Washington last Saturday evening to take on Washington State up in the Palouse. And mm -hmm. coach, this was quite a game and a big game, I thought, improvement-wise. Cowboys improved in this game. Well, I, I agree with you, um, and uh, you know the scoreboard didn't indicate it, but uh, the effort was better. Our execution was better. That's a good Wazoo team. Uh, they, they've got good players, but I thought our guys went and competed and made plays, and uh, particularly some of our older players. So we were encouraged about that. We need to build on that as we move forward. Well, let's go to Pullman, Washington, shall we? Take a look at the first half highlights. Beautiful evening up in the Palouse Martin Stadium. There's the two Cowboy running backs, Brian Hill and Sean Wick, and here we go, Coach. Well, we got off to a good start. Here's a play-action pass, and um, Cam put the ball. It was a little bit underthrown, but you can see Tanner Gentry had done a nice job on the move. You'll see the second shot here. Tanner comes out and, and gives an outside move to the defensive back and kind of freezes him and then runs right by him. And this is all set up by a good running game, and so by us establishing a run, that's going to open up our passing game and uh, great start there seven to nothing on the road gives our guys an awful lot of confidence here you can see Washington State come back we blitz up the middle nice throw and catch that was a fourth down and two a big conversion by Wazoo now they've got good players that quarterback's a leading passer in the Pac-12 uh, we come up with a good goal line stand the officials come in on the sideline rule that the quarterback made it across the line on a snake now it's going to be seven to seven uh, what's going to be important for us is our offense to come back and establish some good things to reestablish some momentum. I wish they do here. Here you can see a nice job of our offensive line, a good job by Brian Hill coming up with a stiff arm or across the 50-yard line. Uh, a lot of energy on our sidelines. Brian's having an excellent night. Once again, a similar play. Brian starts to the left, comes back, finds the open field of the uh, right side and comes up another big chunk. I believe he had almost seven yards per carry against a Pac-12 defense, and uh, that's encouraging. Here you can see we're uh, deep in their territory. This is a uh, nice throw by Cam uh, going to the back shoulder uh, with uh, Jake Malhar. And now we're up 14 to seven, so it does show we can move the football and uh, our, our, a lot of confidence by a lot of our younger players and our older players are playing well here. Here once again, you can see this is a classic move when the inside, uh, the inside defensive back uh, has got the inside position to come up. Uh, Wazoo comes back and <clears throat> uh, we're encouraged about this, Dave. We got good pressure uh, and this was uh, Eddie Yarbrough during the course of the game. He had two sacks and that was Eddie's best performance. He's our leader on defense and that's a good uh, left offensive tackle that he's going against, or actually it's a right offensive tackle. Uh, Wazoo comes back here and, you know, I thought this, they've got good players and uh, an excellent throw and excellent catch. Tyren Finley uh, did a nice job on coverage. A fade route is a low percentage completion and uh, not only a completion, that's a one-handed catch. And we encourage Tyran to stay in the fight, don't get discouraged. And you'll see later on, he comes back and makes some some really outstanding plays. Here's one of them right here. A good job of baiting that corner, and that's a uh, you know a bubble screen here. The Tyran comes up and makes a nice uh, tackle, and uh, you know we had more white jerseys around the football, so we're encouraged about that. Okay, uh, they come back, and um, you know this was a disappointing run, and uh, it was a we lacked some gap control here, and the running back broke into the secondary. A nice uh, run by them, and uh, we've got to prevent those. And for the most part, during the course of this game, that we did. And so here you can see our halftime highlights. Actually, that's 21 to 14 that they're up, and uh, the yardage is pretty close. Uh, we've gone into the halftime before way out of it. Uh, this was a little bit different story. Yeah, really was. Cowboys playing very well, just down seven at halftime. Come back and we'll take a look at the second half highlights right after this timeout. This is Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bull. Back after this. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bull is brought to you by your Magnificent 7 Wyoming Toyota dealers, Wyoming Relay, the University of Wyoming International Programs Office, and the University of Wyoming Outreach School. 
Welcome back to Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. The Cowboys played last Saturday in Pullman, Washington, and at halftime, Wyoming's down only a touchdown, 21 14. Very much a football game here, Coach. And, and I'm thinking the Cowboys are taking a little confidence going into that second half. Well, surprisingly, we have not had that type of score going into a halftime. We went into the game confident and knowing that we had made improvements in practice. It was going to be important that we come out and reestablish momentum. And uh, when an opportunity came to seize to get the win to do it, unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. However, we did make steps uh, moving in the positive direction. Well, say, let's go back to Martin Stadium, Pullman, Washington, second half. Here we go, coach. Well, here you can see we start out with a big play. This is Marcus Epps coming up with a big interception. We're deep, deep in Cougar territory. Now, we got uh, a flag for a, a block in the back, which was unfortunate, but nonetheless, that was our first. Uh, turnover uh, of the year and a great job by Marcus. Here you can see uh, Cam come back and a good throw uh, to Tanner Gentry. Tanner makes a couple guys miss. Uh, we're moving the sticks here deep in Wazoo territory. Um, and now we're uh, inside the 30 yard line. And uh, unfortunately they came up. This is a, a fourth down and two play. Uh, good penetration, that was disappointing. What was really encouraging though, uh, Dave, was our defense came back. This is another big play and uh, a fourth down play and, and Andrew Winger came out of the secondary deep uh, uh, in the backfield and a big tackle here. You can see another highlight of Andrew running the field in the angle and uh, uh, going low, a lot of white jerseys around um, uh, the ball and a great tackle by Andrew Winger. Uh, now we come back, uh, Brian Hill got a good block on the outside. Uh, we're deep down in uh, to Wazoo's territory, about on the 14-yard line. Uh, unfortunately, we got penalized a couple plays. Wazoo came back, and uh, they hit a receiver just in the heart of the zone there for us. They're down to the five-yard line, but what's so encouraging here, unlike other times, we went ahead and held to a field goal, and that's because of good tackling and gang tackling. The first guy doesn't always make it, but we see you can here we've got four guys around the football. Uh, and this is encouraging. They run the same play the other way and the same results. And so we're going to build on those things. And we force Wazoo to a field goal here. And, uh, you know, many times that's not a, a real positive thing. But here it certainly is. Here's a once again another good tackle by uh, Andrew Wingard. And we're going to keep uh, bringing those young guys along. We force Wazoo into a field goal. And so uh, it's 24 to 14, and uh, right now, you know, we need to come up with a big play. Unfortunately, we didn't on offense, but here's a great, great rush by Eddie Yarborough, power rush on the, on the uh, right side, and um, that's an encouraging sign for uh, some positive things to come. Good push by Uso and a great sack by Eddie Yarborough here. Your offense comes back, and uh, Cam's coming, and uh, we're trying to hit an inside receiver. Uh, Washington State's linebacker did a nice job on the interception. Uh, that was a dart to the heart. You know, at this time, the game was pretty close. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they came up. They had a touchdown. That's a back shoulder fade, a difficult route to defend. And 31-14, uh, to 14, not the result that we were looking for. But our guys play competitive. Boy, didn't they, though, Coach? Uh, vast improvements, it, it appeared, watching this game. Cowboys solid both sides of uh, the line of scrimmage up front, I thought. And also, you got some great performances from the veterans on this team. A couple of wide receivers go over 100 yards. Right. Brian Hill, six out of the last eight games, he's gone over 100. Yeah, just Br Brian's done well. And we're really encouraged by Eddie Yarbrough and a couple of Cam, Cam, Cam Kaufman. They played well. They really did. Well, stay with us. More to come on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bold. We're back after this timeout. Well, he transferred from the University of Indiana to the University of Wyoming. He's a senior and he was spectacular, really, at Washington State. He's the Cowboy leader on offense. We're talking about Cam Kaufman, the Cowboy quarterback. Our own Kevin McKinney had a chance to sit down and visit with Cameron Kaufman. Kaufman unloads, he's got a man. 
This is caught by Gentry. Gentry to the 20. He's to the 10. He's in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Short drop for Kaufman. Looks left, fires, it's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Of all the things that you can get ready for, for a game as a quarterback, one of the things that you can't get ready for is the physicality of it and the, the beating that a quarterback takes. Um, early in that game, they, they were getting after you pretty good at Washington State. Uh, does it enter your mind after a while that you just oblivious to it or, or you know, it, is it something that's on your mind? Um, you know, I think it's uh, it's not really on your mind. You're just out there trying to trying to do your job, and uh, that's something I really pride myself on. You know, there's no no better feeling than them hitting you pretty hard and you getting up and making a play afterwards. You know, I really pride myself on that. So uh, you just got to keep getting up. That's part of the game we play, and it's just that's part of it. I know it didn't go like you wanted, but there were a lot more positive things it seemed uh, in this game offensively than there were in the previous two. Of course, you didn't play in one of them, but uh, how did you feel about it from the quarterback spot? Um, I mean, like you said, we didn't win, which is ultimately what we're going for. But uh, at the end of the day, we are getting better. You know, we're, we're making improvements from week to week. And uh, so we're excited to get back out there again on Saturday and, and make improvements this week, get back to work today and improve on what we can and, and try to go out there and ultimately get a victory on Saturday. Not sure. Uh, it didn't seem that uh, uh, talk about you when you came to Wyoming uh, that you were as mobile maybe as you showed on Saturday. You're, you're, uh, did, is that true or have you always been fairly mobile and that was just a, a misnomer or, or how'd that work? I mean I, I think I can make a play if I need to. I prefer to pass the ball you know I mean I think Tanner, Brian, Jake, all those guys are much better athletes than I am so I'd prefer to have the ball in their hands and then making the plays but, but at the end of the day if there's a, a play to be made I need to get out of the pocket I think I'm, I'm very capable of that. It certainly helps to have those running backs, and, and it seemed like uh, there was a, a great effort Saturday to try to be more balanced offensively. Uh, of course, the previous week that wasn't the case, but did you feel like that came along better in terms of balanced offense? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we, we really ran the ball well, and uh, Brian and Sean are doing a great job. They both, they both are really good backs that run really hard, and that, that only helps the passing game. And I, I felt like we moved the ball really well on those guys. We just couldn't get it in the end zone, which is which is the goal. So, I mean, we had a lot of yards that really didn't mean anything at the end of the day, but we are making strides, so it's, uh, it's good to have those guys back there running the ball. Of course, the Pokes had it uh, inside the uh, Washington State 50s a couple times that weren't able to, to turn into points. Uh, what does the offense have to do to, to finish those, those drives? Oh, I think we just really got to lock in mentally, you know, know our assignments and know that this, this is where it's time to make our money. You know, we got to get in the end zone here. And there were multiple times we got down there and we got false start. You know, I, I had the uh, intentional grounding penalty. Those, those really set us back. It's hard to score when you're having penalties down there and getting behind the chain. So we, we really just need to lock in and finish the job. Of course, that game's over um, behind you. What do you see with this New Mexico team uh, and the challenges they'll present? Uh, they're a good team. You know, they get after quarterback a little bit. They bring a lot of blitzes. We had a, had a very close game with them last year, even though I wasn't playing. And uh, it'll be a great challenge for us, so I'm looking forward to getting out there and playing them on Saturday. So uh, do you uh, change your game a little bit when you know a team is blitzing uh, a, a lot? Um, I just try to be on top of my protect, set my protections right, you know, trying to put us in the best position to be able to block who they're bringing, you know, seeing things before the snap and, and set my protections right. So it has a, a lot to do with me just kind of recognizing it and, and helping the protection out and getting, getting the ball out of my hands. Is it overrated or accurate uh, that when you start conference play, it's a new season, uh, whatever happened previously, really doesn't matter that much? Uh, I think at the end of the day it's just another team. You know, I don't care if we're playing a team that's from a different conference or a team from our conference. I mean, we're trying to win with everything we have and we're going to do everything we can to try to get a win. So, I mean, it doesn't really make any difference to me whether we're playing in conference or out of conference. We're trying to win the football game. The team needs a victory, uh, obviously. Saturday uh, with New Mexico would be a great time to get that. Do you feel what happened last week makes everybody feel, even though they haven't won a game yet, that it's on its way, it's coming. Yeah, I think so. I mean, 
like you said, we still lost, but we are we are getting better. And I think we see this as a team that we can beat. We can get a victory, and uh, we're excited to be back home in front of our home crowd. And I think this is a game we can get. So we're excited to uh, get back to work this week. Well, he really has become a leader on this Cowboy football team, Coach. The senior, Cameron Kaufman, and I thought he had a heck of a game. I, only one bad throw that I can think right. of, but he was magnificent, really, at Washington State. Really played well, and he came back from a, a knee injury and, and fought through that. Uh, you know, he's done a great job managing our offense, not only managing him, but he operated the offense against Washington State. 296 yards uh, 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 passing is impressive against a good Pac-12 uh, defense. He took some shots in this game and, and just kept on ticking. And I don't know that he's a totally 100% in this game, Coach, but he is a battler. That's for sure. Well, that knee is still a little bit sore. Uh, you know, a couple times he took off w with the football, I kind of cringed. But that shows his competitive nature. We're going to build on that performance. And anytime you're good at quarterback, you got a shot to be good on offense. Well, he really has been special. Cameron Kaufman for the Wyoming Cowboys. You stay with us. More to come on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl right after this timeout. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bowl is brought to you by your Magnificent 7 Wyoming Toyota dealers, Wyoming Relay, the University of Wyoming International Programs Office, and the University of Wyoming Outreach School. Well, the defensive ends had a good game at Washington State. They're coached up by A.J. Cooper. He's also the special teams coordinator and the Cowboy football assistant coach. And Coach Cooper sat down with us and gave us a little heads up on New Mexico. Uh, the option game is the option game. And it's uh, at the end of the day, it's about having a guy in the dive having the guy in the quarterback and the guy on the pitch, and making sure everybody's eyes are good, everybody does their job and trusts their teammate. And from our experience, when you do that, you know, we had good success against Air Force last year. Bits and pieces of the New Mexico game last year on defense, we showed up that, hey, we were detailed and disciplined, then you can shut down and stop these kind of offenses. But when you get guys that are, uh, I don't know, over eager, you know, to just do their job, but to try to make the great play, that's when you're going to have some issues as far as not being disciplined and assignment sound. You know, we're gonna, we'll take a hard look at it specifically. Are they specifically running different schemes, different plays? I do know from our standpoint, though, is we need to get lined up and play fast. I thought we had some success against Washington State because our kids had confidence. They had their feet under them. They were able to attack instead of being on their heels a little bit. And so for us as coaches, number one, the most important thing is, yeah, it's nice to have great schemes. We need to make sure those kids are playing fast and aggressive and continue to build on that because we saw some positive things there. There's a nice little breakdown by Cowboy assistant coach A.J. Cooper. The New Mexico Lobos coming to Laramie War Memorial Stadium. One o'clock the kickoff as the Cowboys open up conference play. That part conference play seems to mean a little something extra to most coach. Well, it certainly does. And uh, we, we play in a great league. Uh, I know we've had a long standing um, games with the University of New Mexico. Bob Davies done a good job with their football team last year. Uh, we had a close ball game down in uh, Albuquerque. Uh, you know, they're a very prolific offense. They just came off a tough loss to Arizona State, kind of like us. Uh, they operate with two quarterbacks and uh, also a, a little bit of unique style of offense. A lot of movement in the backfield and some very good skilled players. I thought their defensive uh, group played well. I know they'll come in and play hard. Uh, you know, really encourage our fans to come out and support these players. Uh, it should be a great, great opportunity to knock off the Lobos. As you look at this game and you've been preparing here for the New Mexico Lobos, what do you think some of the keys to the game might be in this one, Coach? Well, for us, offensively, anytime we're able to run the football, that, that has a big impact because it has such an impact on the passing game. So we'll need to establish the line of scrimmage. Um, then defensively, I think uh, we've got to stand on the, uh, the premise of not giving up those big plays. Last week we had one long run. Uh, we'll need to continue that. That'll be a challenge, but if we can play solid defense and gang tackle, then that edge comes into the kicking game. We did a good job last week generating some yardage on our, our kickoff returns. I thought our punt game was good, uh, so we need to leverage that. If you win two out of three phases of the game, typically you're going to come up on top. Yeah, and this is conference play, and you've said from the time you came here, Coach, one of the two things you really want to accomplish for these young 
football players here at the University of Wyoming is win conference championships. And that is still, even though the Cowboys are on three, right. to start conference play very much in view. Well, you always have to bear that in mind. And conference play is so critical, and we play in a great conference. And so, you know, our guys have a great uh, uh, look in their eye. They've had a good week of practice. We certainly always have adversity. You know, we'll be short a player or two here or there, but the Lobos will as well. And so uh, uh, we're glad we're playing at home. We're looking forward to playing the Lobos. Well, it should be a heck of a game. This is a wild and woolly conference coach, and to get started in conference play I know is big. Well, it certainly is. And like I said, uh, the University of Wyoming and New Mexico played for a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, we're looking forward to playing the Lobos. Yeah, should be a heck of a game. Again, 1 o'clock, the kickoff, the Cowboys and the New Mexico Lobos opening, opening up Mountain West Conference play right there in War Memorial Stadium. We'll come back next time and take a look at the highlights of that New Mexico Conference opener with the Cowboys here on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. That'll do it for us. For the head coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody. They fake it to him. Now Kaufman to throw. Looks deep over the middle. He's got Gentry. It's caught. And he is in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Short drop for Kaufman. Looks left. Fires. It's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jake Malhart with the catch. His first touchdown catch of the season.